So I've had a request to go into the detail of my educational journey. So I've got a series of videos. This is the first one and this one's called, well, how do you get smart? Kind of, how do you learn? And I'm gonna take you through my experience at school and I'm really hopeful that what this will do for you is to allow you to make more informed choices about where you're going and what you're doing right now at school. I'm gonna start at secondary school, I'm gonna go right the way through to passing my degree and getting a job. So my school was not a brilliant school, but I didn't know that at the time and it was fine. I had a really good experience at school because of my group of friends and the teachers that I learned with. I have a video, in fact, where I open my GCSE results and I tell you about how I feel about them because I don't feel really good about my GCSE results despite them being basically straight A's. It's that B in German that haunts me. You know, I had legendary teachers, I had great friends, I went skiing, I had great experiences. Uh, see my results video if you're interested in the outcome of my GCSEs. What I did do is I listened at school. You know, I listened to all of my teachers. Sometimes, I'll be honest, I didn't do my homework. Sometimes I didn't necessarily complete the work that was set in the lessons. But I did listen to everything my teacher said. And one of my friends has a little saying, they say everything a teacher says is like a little gem. And all the students need to do is pick up those gems and put them in their gem bag and they'll be fine in the exams. School felt a little bit different to me back then than it does now to, I think, young people. And I feel like there's a lot more pressure around exams. I remember mock exams very briefly and not having a lot not well, thinking a lot about them, just kind of turning up and giving them my best shot. But now there's an awful lot more pressure on you, and I, I do admit that. And I think that you ought to listen out to all of my study tip videos because I go into lots of detail on, on how is best to revise. And I think that we know a lot more about how to learn, and I feel like we were kind of more left to just get on with it, really. I can't remember doing practice papers. I can't remember doing many practice questions for my GCSEs, but I do remember going into that exam hall and giving him my best shot. And I do remember knowing my strengths and weaknesses. I do remember knowing that if they asked me a question on that, then I'd be absolutely fine. But if they asked me a question on this, I'd probably find it difficult. And I think knowing that enabled me to focus on the bits that I was less sure about on the days leading up to the exams. And that meant that actually I was fine in those exams. So my biggest tip to you is to know your priorities and work on those priorities. So I think from this first video, my advice to you is to make sure you're listening and taking the advice of people at schools. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about making choices at the various different stages in secondary school. I do also remember careers advice. And I remember looking at all those details of what I need to get into where. And I remember thinking about my careers and having no idea what I wanted to do. But it is really valuable and it should give you motivation, but it also shouldn't make you panic and worry. Because at the end of the day, what really sets you apart in a career is your ability to work hard and your ability to learn new things. So, and if you do that, if you learn how to learn and if you get into the habit of working hard, then I promise you you'll be a success in any career that you choose. Because you will learn new things, you will pick up new skills and you will impress people and you'll get those promotions.